Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's crack? It was bracken. It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy, and we back, and we back, and we back, and we back with another one. Y'all already know what we about to do, man. This is the Mass Singer season three, episode eight, y'all. I'm excited. I am so excited. This is episode eight. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, then that means that you're watching whoever went home today. I don't know who it is at this point in me recording this because this is the beginning, but if I just want to let you guys know if you do want to see the full reaction or the full episode review, head over to patreon.com slash Billy You So Crazy. It's only for two dollars. You can watch, you know, all the episodes that I've done so far and all of my guessings and some of the ones that I haven't guessed. Feel free. You don't have to. But for my crazy pack members that are watching this live, man, I'm excited for episode eight. I really don't want to do too much talking. I just want to get straight into this because I've been waiting all week for it to finally be Wednesday. Y'all really turn me into a fan for this show. This is wild, man. But um, yeah, if you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and uh, comment down what y'all guesses. All right, let's get into it. We got one more. Oh, we got the swan. To meet our final singer of Group C. We got the swan. Stranger to the finer things. So let's keep it classy for the swan. Keep it classy. Ooh, ooh, this song is a bop. Hold on, I forgot. Flossy, hey. flossy, oh hey. I'm gonna have to react to some funny joints. I forgot she got some bops. I oh, forgot. Hold on. Oh, Nicole, she's teeny, teeny, weeny. Right. She's teeny, weeny, weeny. Swan she got a teeny, weeny, weeny. clues about a most gracefully enigmatic. And she's standing like a swan too. Yo, you in these words? <laughs> enigmatic bird. <laughs> Girl, you in these words? <laughs> the there, my hair school. Fierceness. One of the only birds who flies despite the burden of the weight they carry across the universe. The burden. I am the swan, here because I refuse to be tuned out. I've played games, Remix. I've lived fame, I've seen shame, and I claim, on this stage where I came, that you won't know my name. Vampire Fang, someone from Twilight, perhaps? I'm someone and no Twilight? one, I'm rerun and no fun, I'm laughing and screaming and nervous all at once. <laughs> so horror vibes. And now, She's actress. For it, flush with fever as I bear my soul to you. Bear your soul, girl. Bear your soul. Leave it at the cross, though. Look at the backup dancers. Hold on. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care. When you put your arms around me. I get a fever that's so hard to bear. Sound like she's talking almost though. Okay. When she got a little sass to her. I think this is the actress. Fever. In the morning, she said, fever. fever. The night. That's what my voice did earlier. I had a fever. Captain Smith and Polk, the haunted. Had a very mad affair. You better shake that hip, girl. When her daddy tried to kill him, she said, Daddy, oh, don't you dare. You give me fever. I'm his missus. Daddy, won't you treat him right? Hey, hey, you better walk on him. Now you listen to my story. Here's the point that I have made. Chicks were born to give you fever. Being fair and hide her scent to grave, they give you fever. When you kiss them, fever if you live and learn. Fever! Fever! Will you sizzle, what a lovely way to burn. What a lovely okay. way to burn. What a lovely way to burn. Come on now, fade me out. Fade me out, fade me out, fade me out. I don't know who that is. I don't have the slightest idea. How did, who gives these fools Why these ideas? attacking me today? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, talk to the swan about her performance. I can tell this might be out of your comfort zone, might not be what you normally do, but you've got a really cool tone to your voice. And yeah. even though you're I mean, she was definitely mask, just talking the whole song, but that's okay. Swan, come on. That's okay though. We'll let it slide. We're gonna let it slide. Fever. Because 
They can fly at 60 miles per hour. That's a good reason. I live my life in overdrive. So, the only way to get things done is to do them fast. <laughs> 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 she is funny. I feel like I know this person, though, but I, I don't know. Uh, what y'all picking up on? You know, I noticed the vampire fangs. I'm thinking that could be someone from a vampire show, someone from the Vampire Diaries. Uh, a friend of mine who I know very well, Nina Dobrev, kind of oh. fits the bill. If you Nina will. Dobrev? She's got that kind of vibe. They, they liking what you're putting down. Maybe, okay, I can see that. She fire, too. Clues, I love me I some Nina. A ghost. I know this person was in a show called The Ghost Whisperer. Ooh. It also said rerun to have fun. This person has been on a lot of television shows like Bird of Paradise, Party of Five. I've and never I think seen it's that. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, that's a good guess. Jennifer Love? I wish, that was, I wish that was my guess. I wish no, that was it wasn't my your guess. guess. I want that guess. I want that guess. I want that guess. No. I want it. Robin. Oh. Yeah, I, I was going with the uh, gothic and the uh, ghosts and the scream stuff, and I was thinking Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Ooh. I'm going to go with Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yeah. All yeah. right. I don't know her enough to be like, yeah, that could be it. I, I don't one. know her I enough. Ken. Yeah. Shout I out to the merch they're trying to push. Sit down, man. <laughs> you got it, Daddy. We've lost control, but one thing we definitely know is good with that performance. Y'all make some noise for the swan. Y'all saw her bop. The panel's guesses for swan were I'm gonna go with Nina. all over the place. Oh, I love what do you Nina. Think? Who Welcome is back that? to the Mass Singer. We are just two weeks from the Super 9, and our group C singers want a spot. Last week, the swan had a fever, and Robin thought she hey, could hi. be... Sarah hi. Michelle hi. Yeller, and he's hi. right here. Right but in case oh, no new names are flying after at you, hi. look no feather. Then these clues right here about the swan. Hi. Sit oh, y'all butts down. We're on camera. Hey. <laughs> Before my last performance, I was petrified, afraid to stick my long neck out. Petrified. But I pushed past the nerves and dove in head first. Now, it's like I've fallen down a rabbit hole into the most amazing Wonderland. Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland. See, hmm. here's the tea. I know my life seems all new moons and rainbows. Not the tea. But here's the tea. I came from nothing. Only through illusions did I transform my family to a better place. Self-made came for nothing. Oh. Thus, illusions? from a frozen white snowbird, did I move west to this wicked world of sunshine. She's in LA. So to my fans and followers, I dedicate this performance to you. And a very special someone. I just hope this isn't my swan song. Bruh, these clues never help me. I seen somebody put Bella Thorne. Who put Bella Thorne? I think Shaya did. Well, I'm gonna agree with you though. I think it's Bella Thorne too. <gasps> no! Boom. This is what we're going to do, y'all. The Swan performance right here. I had to pull up a separate YouTube video because the song got copyrighted or whatever. So here it is. It's a lot of movement going on. It doesn't really sound like Bella Thorne, though. I don't know. I, maybe. Oh, well, no. Right there it did. But I don't know. I don't know, Shaya. It could be her. What is, what is everybody else saying? Is it somebody else? Oh, Michelle says she thinks it's Bella Thorne. Oh, Shaya says she thinks it's Jennifer Love Hewitt. It could be Jennifer Love Hewitt. She really loves her. 
that's crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to this since it got copyrighted. Oh there we go. There we go. Fixed it like it's brand new, y'all. I had to go to a separate video just to watch this performance. That's crazy. She did. You got Kim blessing Swan. Kim, talk to the Swan about her performance. I hate myself for love. Wow, who are you, my wife? I real. I've never had a performance. You had, you know. It could be Jennifer Love Hewitt though. It's like all over the. Like thank you, and I'm sorry that you uh, that you love me. I don't even know. I'm literally blushing right now. Swan, you definitely ruffled Ken's feathers, but let's talk for a second. As a member of the Mass Academy of 2020, let's hear your yearbook quote. I've been the black swan, and against all odds, mm -hmm. I've been able to spread my wings for millions to see. Life is truly magical. Wow. Well. You can see that little, well. Little dancers. Yeah. Did that help anyone up there? That helped Not a me clue. a lot because the whole thing with Ken really threw me because I was like, oh, that's just a misdirect. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> misdirect. <laughs> but I heard the clues like escape to a new world. And I think this person came from a foreign country like Ukraine. And she just said Black Swan. Right. She was in Black Swan. Who's in Black the Swan? Oscar nominated movie. It is Mila Kunis. Oh, yeah, that's a Mila great Kunis was in Black Swan? I haven't seen Black Swan, so maybe that's why I don't know. I disagree with that. New Moon was in the package, and she New starred Moon. in Twilight. Her character's name, Bella Swan. Oh. Then last week's package, the clues were Fang. So I'm going to go with Kristen Stewart. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good guess, actually. Well, that's with a good the guess. Swan, you know, obviously... Could be someone that I've worked with before that you know be. that we're we're friends and um, I gotta be couples retreat. She put you on her thing. I, I played uh, the therapist to her and Jason Bateman at, on at Bora Bora. There's like so yo, that's my favorite movie, yo. Ocean. I love couples and, uh, retreat. Obviously, the Frozen motif. I, you know, I know underrated I've movie by the way with the kitty, but you know I'm going with Kristen Bell. Right on. Kristen Bell. Did you want to drop any more of your resume? I don't think that's. I don't think that's Kristen Bell. I don't know. What if that's the case? Because Swan wasn't. She wasn't really like a singer. Does Sandra Bullock love you? Who doesn't love Kid? Right. I'm trying to connect the dots. Wait, are you saying that it might be right? I don't know. If it's Sandra Bullock, I will freak out. Well, she definitely rocked this stage, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going for the Swan. I don't know. The judges think this block of fabulous ladies is under the Swan mask. Do you agree? Who is that? I really will be surprised. Thank you so much. What a beautiful person. Like, he honestly has such a pure soul. Wow. I will honestly be surprised if they send the T-Rex home, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised the way that this show goes. going to be someone with a huge name. Yeah, me too. Whoever it is, she's going to really surprise us. Okay, so when they do stuff like that, it kind of lets me know that either the swan is going to go home our All right. remaining singers. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, right? So when I went to look for the Swan's performance, I seen that the Swan is the one that's going home. I don't know who it is, but I did see that the Swan is the one that's going home because YouTube copyrighted the song. We're still going to copyright this video as well. It is what it is, but I don't I want to let y'all know that this isn't a surprise to me. Gave us a Sorry. show to talk about. Audience I wanted to get this up for y'all tonight. The most important vote. <laughs> next time I'm going to just wait for the next day. Choose your favorite Hulu don't like to put the episodes up till 2 a.m. Like, why? With the why? Least I'm not going to be up at 2 a.m. I got stuff to do. <laughs> to next week's Group C Championships. The show is getting really hard. The All right. Are in. I know who's going home. The singer with the least amount of votes. The swan. The one going All right, now we're going to find out who it is, though, because I don't know who it is. Going to be revealed after this. Oh, <laughs> oh, you can't trick us like that. It's ridiculous. What kind of a show is this? Who is that? I don't know, but I know. I don't know. The time has come. The singer who must unmask is. No need for me to act shocked on this. I know it's the swan, so. Send the swan home. The swan. 
All right, now, now let's find out if it's Jennifer Love Hewitt or um, we'll see you in next Kieran Kristen Stewart or one more song away from the Super Nine guys. They love you, Swan. No. Bella Thorne. Oh, and those are the only Shut guesses that I see in here. One last time. With the good comes the bad. You got to be unmasked, but we get to learn who you are, right? You guys excited? Let's find out who it is. Panel. Why should it actually be Jennifer Love Hewitt? Your final guesses. You guys ready? I'll go first. No reason to beak around the bush. Oh. Or Kristen Stewart. Oh. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Um, anyway, this uh, lovely actress said she loves Ken, actress? and uh, Ken and her did a film together. And she was in The Vampire Diaries. She was also in Flatliners, the reboot. So there's been a lot of those Flat connections liners? to horror films. I think it is uh, Nino Dobrev. Oh, I love Nina, but I don't think that's Nina though. I love I Nina. You put all that together, Robin. I've been working on it. I've been working on it. The kind of the energy reminded me of Kristen Bell with tonight's performance, but then just reassessing myself in the clue package, and I'm thinking <laughs> someone who I hadn't thought of in a while, like my co-star in Ride Along 2. She has this kind of energy, and the clue package is made in Japan. She was born in Japan. Okay. There, there's magic fruit in the package. She was a magic mic. I'm gonna go with Olivia Munn. Olivia right, Munn? Changing it up again, okay. All right. Good guess. Right. It actually is an okay guess. It's a great guess. I don't know. Okay, so it, could be. it said know. transform in the package. Obviously, we know our Transformer movies. Also, she was in a horror film called Jennifer's Body. Yeah. Okay. She's not going she for uh, Megan in that horror Fox. Film. And aesthetically, with her physique, it would match Megan Fox's physique. She is going so with Megan Fox. I'm, go I'm surprised. Megan Fox. I don't think that's Megan right, Fox. Joel, what about you? I don't think I that's Megan Fox. I'm gonna go back with what I said first, because things like when she said lifted up her family from somewhere frozen, she's from Soviet Ukraine, she's in the movie Black Swan, I did a movie with her, so I think it's Mila Kunis, I still do, and Mila, Mila Kunis' neck is three and a half feet long, so she can fit <laughs> in with this costume. That's not bad. Mm. There were a lot of clues pointing to Kristen Stewart. Bella Swan in Twilight, the vampire clues, of course. And then she played um, Joan Jett, and she sang Joan Jett. There was also angel references, and she was in Charlie's Angels. So Charlie's I'm Angels. sticking with Kristen Stewart. All right. Kristen All right, Stewart. I'm dying to know who this is. I'm dying to know who this is. I'm okay, going to go ahead and rock with uh, Kristen Stewart. Let's see if any We're of you We're going to lock it in. Close. It's time for the swan to take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Careful, Nick. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Look at these terrible camera angles. They're so annoying. She got blue hair. Oh, my goodness. It is. Oh, so. So, uh. Who said it? Michelle, you were right. She was your co-star, Kat. You were right. You did the duff with Bella Thorne. Come on, Kat. The duff? What? That's classic <laughs> Ken Jong. Never what? guessing his co-star. Right. This is another Margaret Cho moment. <laughs> Bella, give me my mic back. Bella, don't Bella. <laughs> Bella, 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 but uh, why this She has show? 22 why, million? Why the mass Singer? Um, well, because I'm Ken not one was of them for sure. me as the Flamingo I did. last yes. season, yes, yes, and right. uh, I, I retweeted that, and that made me super excited. I started watching the show, and I right. just thought it was so, so amazing, so dope. And uh, and I was like, let's let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Getting in front I mean, of good enough reason. really gets me super nervous. Uh, so this was really out of my comfort zone. But I, I honestly, you're talking about being nervous. I, we did not see a trace of that in your performance and your entrance. Everything about Shake it, it was just on point. I, I really thought you just did an amazing job. Thank you so much. <laughs> what, did the, what did the um vampiring fangs mean? Um, me and my sister own a record label called Filthy Fangs. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, also, I is that public say, knowledge? I don't know that. You guys really didn't catch on, so you guys went straight to Kristen Stewart, but it's Bella because she played oh. Bella. Oh <laughs> my gosh! All right, well, Ladies Michelle, you were right. And anybody else who thought this was it's Bella Thorne? Yeah. Thorn. <laughs> I almost forgot her name that fast. <laughs> Next week is crunch time. They could have been Kristen Stewart, though. Advance to our Super Nine and meet White Tiger. Kangaroo yeah. Turtle Next time, I'm gonna just wait till the next day to record this, man.
Because I don't like having to search for performances and finding out who's actually got voted off. I don't like that. My apologies, y'all. This week was a little boo-boo week. You know what I'm saying? Blame it on the quarantine. You know what I'm saying? Hey, all right, y'all. So that was episode eight. All right. If you're watching this on YouTube, then, you know, you know, that Swan went home and you know who it was. And you know that my guest was nowhere near that. So no need for me to pretend like I knew that the whole time. Let's get to these comments, man. Shout out to Rico 43 for being a crazy pack member. Phoenix TT TV. Shea Hainsley. Um, I kept saying that you were the one that said well, we saw the You saw the clip. So my apologies. Um, Rhonda. Thank you so much. Elizabeth. Carly C. Uh, Maddie. Teresa, Linda, Michelle, Jessica. Shout out to all you guys, man. Um, if you want to become a Crazy Pack member and you want to watch the full episode review, just head over to patreon.com slash Billy You So Crazy right now for the lowest $2. Um, if you're already watching this on Patreon, let's go with y'all, you know what I'm saying? My apologies, y'all. I was trying to get this out to y'all tonight, man. I was really trying to get this out to y'all tonight. But next time, it's just, it's just better that I wait so that way I can watch the full performances. My apologies, y'all. But it's all right. This is just one week. We'll, we'll get it right the next week. But um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And y'all leave y'all guesses in the comment section. I'm ready for the Super 9. I am ready for the Super 9. Y'all let me know out of Group C, who do you think is going to make the top three out of Group C? Y'all let me know in the comment section. I'm curious. I think Night Angel, Astronaut, and Rhino. Yeah, I think those are, those are my three that I'm going to go with to, to pull through to, you know, go to the next round. I don't know what, what they call it once they get to the, I guess it's just Super 9, but yeah, y'all let me know who y'all think gonna be in a Super 9 in the comment section. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end it like that. Peace.